The V1, also known as the Buzz Bomb or Doodlebug, was the world's first operational cruise missile developed by the Germans during World War II. Despite being proposed early in the conflict, it wasn't used until 1944. It was used in a series of attacks against London in an attempt to break British morale. The first flying bomb design was proposed in 1935, but it was not pursued. In 1939, a remote-controlled aircraft design was also declined. It wasn't until February 1942 that a collaboration between Fritz Goss Lau and Robert Lusser yielded the basis for the V-1, after modifying parts of Schmidt's earlier design. The design was approved by the Luftwaffe on June 19, 1942 and produced under the name Flak Seal Jerry to prevent enemy spies from learning about it. The most unique feature of the design was the pulse jet engine which gave the bomb its distinct buzzing noise. This noise was caused by air entering the intake valve, mixing with fuel and then igniting, causing the shutters to open and close and thrust the aircraft forward. The V-1 was equipped with a simple guidance system including a gyroscope, magnetic compass, barometric altimeter, and a vane anemometer on the nose. Testing began in late 1942 and after months of extensive testing, the weapon was produced on a large scale on May 26, 1943. Once fully operational, the explosive was capable of reaching a range of 250 kilometers, with a maximum speed of 400 miles per hour. It was also equipped with an 850 kilogram Amatol 39 warhead, which was eventually switched out for a trial in one. Three fuses were used for detonation, one triggered on impact, one delayed for deeper ground blast, and one triggered two hours after launch. The V-1s were produced between 1944 to 45, with the Germans using forced labor. Over 10,000 prisoners from Mittelbadora concentration camp died while constructing the tunnels where they were built. Launch sites were built throughout German-occupied territory, mostly in the pas de calais area along the french coast the explosives were designed to be propelled from an inclined ramp after a burst of high pressure steam this steam was created by mixing hydrogen peroxide and sodium permanganate the bombs could also be dropped from german carrier aircraft but this was reserved for later in the war the germans launched their first v1 attack against london on june 13 1944 followed by many others. The public quickly realized that the best way to protect themselves was to get underground when the buzzing sounded. When the buzzing stopped, it meant the bomb was diving out of the air. The British military sent fighter pilots to intercept V-1s, set up barrage balloons, and equipped the coast and cities with anti-aircraft guns. By mid-1944, the majority of buzz bombs were destroyed when they reached the English coast. The Allies also created targeted missions to destroy launch sites and fed misinformation to Berlin about important targets or previous attacks. This meant the Luftwaffe were constantly setting V-1s to incorrect locations, which fell short of their intended mark. The V-1 buzz bomb was not as effective as it may seem. Out of the 30,000 produced, only about one-third were fired at Britain with 2,419 reaching their target. In total, 6,184 people were killed and 17,981 injured in London. The remaining bombs were fired at European targets, with 2,448 sent to Antwerp. Despite their theoretical impressiveness, the V-1s had little to no effect on the war, despite being an effective psychological weapon. <laughs>